Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of Bitcoin taking a look at what has been going on most recently and what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button. I really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe. Tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you'll be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Now if you have not yet joined us in Discord links in the description down below. Fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 if you're also looking for a little bit more from the crypto space then why not check out the patreon services as well linked in the description down below we hold twice weekly uh, amas with our patreon members and uh, we also do a lot of other things uh, such as project reviews write-ups portfolio management uh, our movements buy sell signals and trading so why not check those things out if that's your bag um okay with all that said done and out of the way let's jump right into this right bitcoin paired up with usdt on the hourly chart binance is the data source now uh, obviously, we were yesterday talking about potentially a surge up to 33,000. Uh, this was like yesterday morning, so basically 24 hours ago. And obviously, we did see this collapse come back down um, after we peaked up uh, towards 32,400. So we we're a little bit short on the target. Um, so actually 32,399 according to Binance here. OK, but that does mark the end of our C wave right there okay and uh, this is basically a five wave move and the only way i can really draw this up is like so okay um, and inside here we also have five waves inside of our wave three okay we can quite clearly see that we have that as well okay and so from a wave count we have a pretty decent count there we have that finishing move now what does this mean well it means that we are heading down now okay and uh, we've obviously been talking about where we're heading to uh you know a fair amount okay so i'm of the opinion now that we probably will not move and i say probably because it is all possible it's just not likely in my opinion that we're not we're not pro probably not going to move higher than 32,399 now. Okay, so I don't think that's going to happen. We'll move up, of course, um, you know, but I don't think that's going to be the case that, you know, we're going to do that. So what do I think? Well, I think that we've got this kind of scenario right here happening right now. We're on some kind of fourth wave. We'll pull back down into a final fifth wave. And then I think we're likely to see some kind of correction. Now, that's one scenario. Um, and this five wave structure here could be bringing in our fifth wave move on a lower scale, taking us to the um to dollars range okay uh, obviously these subwave counts are incredibly important for knowing where we're likely to go so in order to understand where we are within this little section is we need to take a look at that stochastic okay so if we take a look at this we can see that we overbought now okay so we've gone from oversold right here uh, to overbought right here okay so no price discovery or recovery whatsoever and we've used the entire stochastic rsi this is telling us that there's a shift in the momentum uh, of the people who are involved in buying and selling bitcoin and here you can see just selling volume in the same way that we just had that couple of spikes of buying volume i was talking about this run to the upside how it was going to be short-lived and it wasn't sustainable and it wasn't sustainable because all we were seeing is a couple of large uh whales manipulating the price they pushed the price up and then they dumped it back on you so you basically wipe out those retail investors right the amount of long positions that would have been opening up as we started to go up here would have opened a pocket of liquidity down here okay and likewise if there were any short positions when we we're down here because we had this really long boring sideways trade uh, essentially that opened up pockets of liquidity here and the whales are able to mop that stuff up and basically have a transfer of wealth between themselves and retail investors so we have to understand how these things work and um, so that we can be prepared and better prepared for how we want to act inside the space okay so really really risky i was talking about this yesterday i think people misunderstood uh, it was far too risky to get involved uh, from a short-term trading point of view, when we were like here, when we were up here, there were a, basically there's minimal amount of upside, but a huge amount of downside. Now we could, of course, short the market, but I don't use leverage, so I don't do that. Okay, um, so from a, a buying and selling perspective, I'm not going to buy it here when I know there's a limited amount of upside. It doesn't make sense. Instead, what you wait to do is you wait for the nice retracement and then you buy the right area and you take in much better percentage points. So from trading, I think I confused people yesterday when I was saying I wasn't going to be always, I was expecting a, you know, a surge up, 
which we didn't really get the full surge and um, we had them move up um, but I wouldn't trade it and I wouldn't trade it because the risk rewards are not there okay really important that we don't just gamble in this space and we don't just throw money at things uh, we have to be calculated in our movements specifically when it is not a regulated market and there are some select individuals in the space that will basically and do have the ability to move the price to where they need it to go and basically just steal from you that's effectively how i look at it so if we're in this space we have to be calculated about it we have to be educated about it and we have to make the right decisions and um, so hopefully that makes a little bit more sense as to why i was saying yesterday i wouldn't want to trade this move up and if you were unfortunate to get stuck in here i do see there as a bounce but i don't think you're going to find anywhere near as high as this okay that's just my opinion um, so knowing that we are likely to see us pull back down, we can take a measurement. I don't know if this is going to be a complete wave just yet, um, but we'll go ahead and just throw this in here. We'll just zoom in for a second. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll take a look at this. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's possible, actually. Let me just take that movement right there um, and then we'll just move this over to here. OK, so we could move up a little bit more on an ABC structure here uh, or corrective structure. We go up, we come down, then we go up again. So we could reach as high as $30,000. This would actually make a lot of sense as there's a lot of resistance here. Let me just throw in this one, see if it load up anything. Uh, she hasn't come up with anything here. Uh, it reckons up here at uh, 31. Um, I think that's actually a much, much lower than that. So I'm going to take that off for a second. I think if we grab hold of this one and we were to think right that's our one-to-one -one ratio right here at thirty-one thousand three hundred and seventy-seven. Um, but if we were to think about this zone right here okay and the reason for this okay so this is basically thirty thousand three hundred and fifty-eight. Uh, the reason is this is we have this wick here hitting this zone okay uh, we have this one over here hitting this zone and these two right on this side failing to close above that area okay so um, essentially this area here to me looks like the most amount of resistance that's right in line with our one-to-one -one ratio is then we might wick above it but we're definitely probably not going to close above 30,358 that's how I'm reading that at the moment um, so we could see the slight push higher nothing too major and then we pull back down into a fifth wave now if that is the case um, then you know what we want to do is we want to be calculated on this so I'm going to give you a couple of targets as to where I think things um, might actually go let me just um, go ahead and uh, remove those um, so what we'll do is we'll start off by taking this uh, this high point uh, actually I'll take it from the low point uh, so we'll take it from this low just here and we'll ride it up to our yellow line just there that's it okay so this one would be our i guess worst case scenario for a fifth wave low okay uh, before we get a bounce um, and this would indicate to us that we'll be heading between 28,600 and 29,056. Okay, so these two levels. Um, now, if we were to be a little bit more and we were to think, you know, maybe we've actually come to uh, the, the, we've already had the high point, we're not going to go any higher, then actually that means our targets are slightly different. There's 28,800 to 29,110. We are splitting the hairs at this point, to be fair. Like, it's not a huge amount of difference between these, um, but something that we should probably be aware of that there's a little bit of overlap in there um, and if we were to be really going cautious and say you know what's the maximum kind of range that we're looking at at the moment well we'd say okay you could go down as low as 28 uh, 666 uh, or as high as 29110 okay so that kind of gives you that kind of overlapped area um, essentially that would be our fifth wave okay of this entire move so we'd end up with uh, wave one two three down here four up here five down here Okay, now I'll tidy this up a bit. I'll remove uh, some of the noise uh, and then we end up with this, right? So we can see here that this is kind of what we're looking at. After this, we'd end up with some kind of structure up. Okay, we might retest these high points after these lows uh, and then we'll probably see an additional five wave drop okay because we are in a fifth wave on the larger time scale and um, we should be expecting uh, a 53535 five, okay so we'd end up with this kind of structure here uh, and then and then another short bounce uh, if I actually grab the ABC structure here another short bounce and then an additional if I bring this back down five wave drop okay taking us right down into the zones of what we're looking for okay so this is how I think we are likely to see this pull back down and if I come up into our 
let's say, eight hour chart here, you can see that we have a lot more analysis in here. We've got the 22,967 um, and we've obviously got this mapped out as a couple of previous videos ago. Uh, all of this, I think, is our fifth wave low, as indicated on a macro scale um, from all the way up here. <clears throat> OK, because we basically end up with this five, three. Uh, sorry, this uh, three, three, five structure coming all the way down on the daily chart. And uh, basically our fifth wave down here would have a five wave move inside it. Um, so again, we could come down a little bit lower, like the sub wave counts are more important than the macros here in this particular example. So uh, we have to make sure that uh, all of those waves are, you know, mapped out correctly on the way down. Um, but essentially we're going to get into a really sweet spot. This is why I was saying in many of the videos that 22,000 uh, or 23,000 and that range is going to be the bottom of this this corrective cycle and uh, after that i do think uh, i'm going to see a massive reversal not only is this something that also resonates incredibly well with the smas the emas uh, the Guardian channel all of those kind of things and um, but also something that is resonating incredibly well across the uh you know across the space now what what doesn't work is all these nine thousand twelve thousand dollar btc predictions um i cannot see how you're getting down there using the tools correctly so um be interesting to see if there's anyone has uh, a way of actually mapping out nine thousand dollars logically um because i'd be super interested to know how you get there uh, because i simply cannot do it when i utilize all the tools and uh, at my disposal here um it seems that it's just a number plucked out of thin air or you know, the the tools that are being used are not being used correctly and they're actually giving you false information so uh, i can't seem to get down to twelve thousand dollars without using the incorrect uh, or without using the tools incorrectly um but it'd be interesting to know if anyone else in the comments below can can kind of give me the logical thought pattern of how we end up down at these nine and twelve thousand dollar btc because at the moment all i can see here is this low point here just north of the twenty thousand dollar range um, and then i think from there we are moving on up and i think we're going to see something pretty sharp as i indicated in yesterday's video but guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.